this video we are going to learn how we can update google sheets using our node.js application so in this video we will be connecting our node.js application to google sheets using google sheets api and we will see how we can make updates to that google sheet how we can read the rows in the cells from the google sheet into our node.js application on the way we are also going to learn how we can activate google sheets api in google cloud console so guys this is going to be very interesting video stay tuned till the end of the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so now let's go to the visual studio code and start coding guys before we go to visual studio code and start coding we have to go to google cloud console and activate google sheets api basically we have to go to google cloud console get the api key and then we can go to node.js application and try to connect our google sheets using that api so here in the browser i'm just going to search for google cloud console so here on the first link you will be able to find the link to google cloud so once you are inside the google cloud i'm already logged in with my email if you are not logged in you can log in using your gmail or if you don't have an account you can create one using your google account let's go to the console so once we go to the console we'll land on this page which is a dashboard so here at the top you have to select a project under which you want to create the api key once you have selected the project you can search for api and services here in the search bar so this is the api and services dashboard and here in this dashboard we will go to enable api and services so we are basically going to enable google sheets api so i'm just going to search for google sheets this will take me to the google sheets api i'm just going to click on that so for my account you can see that this api is not enabled so i'm just going to click on enable api so guys once you click on enable api this will take us to the page where we can create the credentials for this api so i'm just going to click on create credentials so here under create credentials there are two ways we can create the credentials and we are going to be using a service account to create the credentials so i'm just going to pick application data here and click on next so here we have to give a name to our service account so i can just give it a name as google sheets we don't need the description so i'm just going to create and continue so i'm just going to create this service account as a editor so this service account will have the editor role it can create update or edit any google cloud resources so i'm just going to click on continue after that so once you click on continue i'm just going to click on done so now the credentials are have been created for google sheets api i can go to the credentials tab here so here i can see my new service account that is google sheets so i'm just going to click on little edit button here so once i click on the edit button i'll go to the keys tab and create a keys that i can use in my node.js project and these keys will help us to connect our node.js application to google sheets so i'm just going to click on create new key and i'm going to be creating it in the json format so i'm just going to click on create so now you can see that it has downloaded the keys in my downloads folder in the json format so guys that's all we are going to need to activate google sheets api in google cloud console we enabled the api key we created the credentials and we generated the keys and keys are downloaded into our downloads here in the json format so now we will go to node.js application and make use of these keys to connect our google sheets to node.js application so guys here in visual studio code i have a new folder open here that is google sheets under this folder i have placed the credentials that we have downloaded from google cloud console so these are all the credentials that we are going to be using to connect to google sheets before we do that we have to initialize a new node.js application under this folder so i'm just going to create a new file here and this file is going to be server.js and we are going to be initializing this project by running a command npm in it so now this folder has been initialized with the package.json file and we have a new file that is server.js so here in package.json file we have a start script and we are also going to add something called type and the type is going to be module for this because we are using .js file so we have to add a type module and we are going to be making some change in the start script i'm just going to change it from node server.js to node server.js 
we are going to be using a node mon to start our server here in the terminal so i'm just going to install node mon by running a command npm install node mon so now our basic setup is ready to start writing some javascript code here in the file so here in the terminal i'm just going to start my script by running a command npm start and we can test if everything is working fine by console log hello world so that's the basic setup for the node.js application now we can start writing some code here to connect to google sheets and we will try and make some updates to our google sheet using this node.js application so guys to connect this node.js application to google sheets let's install the required packages in this application so in this application i'm just going to remove this console log and try and install the required packages here in the terminal so basically to connect this to google sheets we are going to need two packages one is google apis so i'm just going to say npm install google apis and the second package that we are going to need is google auth library so i'm just going to run this command to install these two packages and then we will see how we can use these packages to connect to google sheets so now we have all the packages that we are going to need in this application so i'm just going to make some imports here let's import google from google apis and i'm also going to import google auth from google auth library and we do have a credentials.json file here that we are going to read in this server.js so to read that file i'm also going to import fs module from fs slash promises so these are all the imports that we are going to need in this application now let's try and read the credentials file so i'm just going to create a new variable credentials and i'm just going to try and read file that is credentials dot json and we are going to be reading this file in utf format so once we have read the file using the fs module let me just console log the credentials here so if i console log the credentials and try to restart my application here so here you can see that we are able to log the credentials file here but this credentials file is not in the object format it's actually in the json format so i'm just going to try and convert this json to the normal javascript object to do that i'm just going to create another variable that is credentials parsed so these are going to be the parsed credentials and we are going to say json.parse credentials so this time i'm not going to log credentials we have already passed the file and i'm just going to log this new credentials variable so if i log this here in the console now i'm able to read the credentials in the normal javascript object so now we are going to use this credentials to authenticate our google api and then using that api we are going to access our google sheets so using this credentials i'm just going to create a new variable here that is going to be the auth variable using our google auth module that we have imported from google auth library at the top so in this module we are basically going to pass the credentials that we have read from this file already and we are also going to pass the url that we will be calling to make updates to google sheets so that is going to be the auth variable so once we have a auth variable we are going to create a auth client by again passing the credentials in this format so we have to do auth dot from json and we are going to pass our past credentials here and create auth client so once we have created the auth client we will be able to access the google sheets by using our google module that we have imported from google apis here so here we are accessing the google sheets by using google dot sheets and here we will be able to pass the version of the google sheet and we are also passing the auth client that we have created here using the credentials so now that we have access to the sheets we should be able to make updates to the google sheets by doing something like sheets dot spreadsheets dot values dot update and in this function we are going to be passing the object and this object is going to be accepting the spreadsheet id and we can assume some value here for a moment and we will see how to get this spreadsheet id and the second parameter that we are going to pass here is going to be the range range is basically the cell and the sheet in which we are going to be making the update so i'm assuming that i am going to be making the update in sheet one and cell a1 and the next parameter it is going to be accepting is value input option that is going to be raw 
and the last parameter that we have to pass here is going to be the resource and the resource is basically going to be the object which is going to be accepting values and values is going to be an array of values so i'm assuming that i'll be updating a hello world to my sheet one a1 cell in this spreadsheet id so now i'm just going to save this and this is going to give me an error basically it's giving me an error that requested entity was not found because my spreadsheet id is wrong so now i'm just going to go to my browser and search for google sheets and in google sheets i'll be creating a new sheet which is here which i've created here and in this sheet i'll be taking this sheet id which is here so basically that's my sheet id here i'm just going to copy this sheet id from here go back to my application and update my sheet id here so we were getting an error that requested entity was not found but i created a new sheet now and i have mentioned the sheet id here i'm just going to try and run this again so when i'm trying to run this again i'm getting an another error that is caller does not have a permission so basically to give permission to this node.js application to be able to make updates to this google sheet i have to share a google sheet with my node.js application so if we go back to our node.js application here in the credentials you will be able to find this client email so i'm just going to copy that client email from here and go back to my browser and here in the browser i'm just going to share my google sheet with my node.js application so i'm just going to click on share and i'm just going to share my google sheet with the client email that we have copied from credentials.json and i'm just going to send it so because we have shared the google sheet and if i look at it now i can see that my node.js application here is an editor on this sheet so now it should be able to make updates to this google sheet so now i'm just going to refresh my application and we should be able to see our node.js application making updates here in the google sheet so i'm just going to save this again and you can see that it has updated the cell a1 in the sheet one with the value hello world i can also make updates to any other cell for example let's say that i want to make an update to cell d and i'm just going to be making update to d4 on the fourth row so in that case what i have to do is i just have to change the cell here to d4 and i can also change the value i can say that update on d4 so i've changed the cell and i have changed the value that i want to update now i'm just going to run this application again and now you can see that it, it is able to interact with the google sheet and make updates on google sheet so guys that's all i wanted to cover in this video if you found a value in this video leave a like subscribe to the channel and if you want to see more videos on google sheets api leave me in the comments i'll see you in the next one